Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. I am Dr. Monique May, home cook, kitchen gadget junkie, who you know as a physician in the kitchen, board certified family practitioner. And I help busy working women who want to save time in the kitchen with my meal prep tips and my soon to come home meal delivery service here in the Charlotte area. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Hey, Natasha, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to share this with your friends and post comments and questions at the end, and I will respond to you each and every one. So tonight, I just wanted to get on briefly. It's Wednesday, busy hump day, days winding down. Can't believe September is already almost over. We're halfway through, halfway through September. Summer is almost officially over, and the days will be getting longer or shorter soon, and uh, as we move into fall. So... We've been talking a little bit about easy meal prep tips and kind of how to stock a pantry. So I wanted to get on tonight and talk about three foods, processed or packaged foods that are actually healthy for you, that are good for you. So we tend to talk a lot about avoiding processed foods because basically what happens during the processing process is that all of the good, healthy um, nutrients and fibers are actually removed from the food, say for example, white rice, right? So, and you're left with not a lot of benefit, but more calorie, empty calories and not the nutrition that you would get if it were in a more natural or unprocessed state. But there are always exceptions to every rule, right? So we're gonna talk tonight briefly about three processed foods or packaged foods that you actually should have in your pantry and have on hand because they're actually good for you. And um, I'm getting this information just to give credit where credit is due, getting this information from, believe it or not, Consumer Reports. I've mentioned before, I'm a big fan of theirs. I think they put out some really good information. It's not biased. There's no advertising. Um, and they really stick to the science. And so as a physician, that, um, of course, I like that. I that, that speaks to me. So that's why I tend to promote a lot of their stuff. So um, I'm going to just, again, talk about three um, healthy things that you can have in your pantry. These are things you can have in your pantry or freezer. So the shelf life or freezer life is long and it actually saves money in addition to being healthy and easy um, to add to meals. So first we're going to talk about canned tomatoes. So canned tomatoes are a great staple to have. I have them in my pantry. I buy them in bulk at the, um, the big box stores, the warehouse clubs, um, because actually they are full of lycopene, which is an antioxidant. And what that does is it helps to, it's heart healthy, and it also helps to reduce the risk of certain cancers, most notably prostate. And so they actually looked at a study of over a thousand men and those who had over or a higher level of lycopene had a 55% less chance of a stroke than men who had lower levels. So there's some good, good reasons to eat um, tomatoes once a day and a good way to have them is just to have them in your pantry as a, in, in a canned form. What we know is that the canning process actually helps it increase the levels of lycopene because it becomes concentrated during the processing and it's more readily available. The body can actually digest it better. So a good way to um, to add that into your diet um, is like in a, you can, you know, saute them with olive oil um, and then serve them with like a dark leafy green vegetable like spinach or kale. Um, be sure that you pay attention to the sodium because again, with anything canned, you do want to note the sodium content. But the good news is that with a lot of the canned tomatoes, if you compare that to the pasta sauces, they actually going to be lower in sodium than what you'll get from the spaghetti or pasta sauces. So that's good news. So that's number one. Number two are nut butters. So why are these good for you? Well, they are chock full of fiber and nutrients and vitamins as well. Um, be sure though that you want to get the ones that are just nut butters. You don't want the added salt and sugar that, um, again, can be in overprocessed foods. But you, we all know peanut butter, but I'm also referring to cashew butter and almond butter as well. And if you, kitchen gadget junkie plug here, if you have your own uh, food processor, you, food processor, you can actually experiment and make some of these yourself. I actually have not done that yet, but maybe one day when I have nothing to do, 
I will try whipping up a batch of my own nut butter. It really probably can't be too hard with a good um, food processor. So they are higher in fat or in calories, but they have the good fat, the unsaturated fat. So about two tablespoons of any of the nut butters can run about 160 to 200 calories for two tablespoons. Um, but again, it's the good fat the, that lowers your LDL, which is the cholesterol that l l increases your risk for heart attack. So, um, and that's also, so that's beneficial for your heart. So, okay, Natasha is asking about my thoughts on Nutella. Oh, how much time do you have? I love Nutella. Um, Nutella, though, is hazelnut. It's a hazelnut spread with chocolate. So, hey, Tisha, thanks for joining. Uh, be sure to share this with your friends, like and share this with your friends and post any comments and questions below. Um, so, getting back to Nutella, it is... Um, the combination is not just a nut butter, it's also chocolate. So you do have to watch the calories on that. But um, I love Nutella. I love it so much that I can't like buy it because it doesn't last long in my house. <laughs> um, I just got back from a business trip and the hotel had these little packets of Nutella, a perfect like single serving that was meant for people like me because I have no self-control when it comes to Nutella. So, um, but they also sell the little miniature packs too that have the, the little, um, I guess they're like little breadsticks. But again, you want to watch the calorie intake on that, but every once in a while, it's not going to hurt you. Um, dark chocolate, of course, is much better for you than the milk chocolate that tends to be in Nutella. So one day if they come out with that combination, if they haven't already, then, um, your kids, your kids love it too, Tasha. Oh my goodness, it is addictive. And then, have you ever put it between like graham crackers? It's kind of like the s'mores, but without the marshmallow. And oh wait, let me not get off on that tangent. Oh, but great question. Thanks for asking that. Um, so getting back to the to the either the peanut butter or uh, you know cashew or almond butters, um, those are just great to have around. Um, they also are full of potassium and fiber, which also again are going to be good and beneficial for your heart. Um, another study that I came across was they, where they looked at over 120,000 men and women, and those who had about an ounce a day, an ounce per day of nuts, tended to have about were 30 percent uh, less likely to have uh, or to die rather from heart disease than those who did not. So that is. Um, pretty telling um, information. You're welcome, Tasha. Thank you for asking the question. So well, how do you eat it? Of course, everybody knows peanut butter. That's another thing that doesn't last long in this house because my son is a peanut butter fiend. So we buy like the monster jars of peanut butter, but you can use it as a, um, in addition, of course, to, to on toast or, or bread, um, have it as a snack with, or dip rather, for your celery. Some people love peanut butter and celery um, or um Rice cakes is good spread on that as well. Um, and Or fruit. You can just eat it, you know, com a combination, um, dip your fruit in it. And um, smoothies. It's a great way to add some a little bit of protein um, and a little bit of extra crunch. If you like the crunchy form, you can add that to a smoothie and really bump up the flavor on your morning smoothie. So last but not least, um, the third. So we've talked about nut butters, and we've also talked about canned tomatoes. So the third and final for tonight, um, healthy processed or packaged food are frozen, is frozen fruit. Um, it is, that is a very economical and easy way to keep fruit in the house and not, not have to worry about it going bad, which is where you tend to waste a lot of money if you're buying fruit and not eating it fast enough. And also a good way to get fruits that may be out of season or not in your area as readily. And again, we know fruit is going to be full of your fiber, antioxidants, uh, um, minerals, and vitamins as well. So the freezing, of course, prevents the spoilage, which adds to the shelf life or the freezer life of the fruit. And you can have peaches all year round if you want, as opposed to just the summertime. So um, be sure, though, that you just have the actual fruit again processing people the companies you know they've they've done their number on us and they add salt and sugar to a lot of things that don't need it so when you're looking for good frozen 
fruit to have. You want to make sure it's natural, naturally sweet. It doesn't need the sugar added. Um, and then, of course, there's really tons of things you can do with frozen fruit. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but they're great in smoothies. And you can also just use them in a dessert as well. Thaw them out, make a dessert with them. Um, and then also, I, I make a delicious corn mango um, salsa. And so you can use some frozen mango in that. If, if it's out of season and you want some corn mango salsa in the middle of the winter, go for it. So those are just my three recommendations for healthy processed foods because as we said before there are always exceptions to the rule but to review we discussed canned tomatoes and their high content of lycopene which is an antioxidant and decreases certain cancer rates particularly prostate so that's really important for out there for you guys and um, also are beneficial is beneficial in protecting your heart so in choosing Hey, Tara, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Um, so you want to be sure you get them. Uh, you want to make sure they're low in sodium, which they tend to be compared to other tomato processes, uh, tomato processed foods like um, pastas or, or spaghetti sauces or tomato sauces. Um, so that's canned tomatoes. Hi there. Hope everything is going well up your way, Tara. Um, so the I hope oh I'll be seeing you soon homecoming right can't wait we we are both UNC's um, spring of uh, excuse me UNC grads class of ninety two and our homecoming is coming up and so we're gonna hang out get to hang out in a few weeks um, so the next thing we talked about were nut butters so peanut butter um, you've got your almond butter cashew butters um, those are all great sources of fiber and the good kind of fat that helps decrease your bad cholesterol and protects your heart and they're just they just taste good and why not have them in your house um of course you know peanut butter and jelly how can i forget to say that right who, who doesn't love a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich and so the last um, item are frozen fruits and so those are good to have in the freezer year round um, i've got some stash in my indoor freezer my outdoor freezer um, great smoothie in the morning, out the door, um, burst of antioxidants, fiber, minerals, vitamins, all that good stuff. Bump, you can bump up the health content with a little bit of nut butter or chia seeds or even flax seed, which are going to give you more antioxidant, more fiber um, for your buck. So, and you can, the other benefit is you can eat fruits that may be out of season year round. So, I thank you so much for joining tonight, and I hope your rest of your week goes well. Like as I said, I can't believe we're almost out of September, and um, before we know it, it'll be Christmas time. So, hey, Evans, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share with your friends. So, sign. I'm about to sign off for the night. I've got to get in the kitchen. I'm working on some exciting recipes that I can't wait to be able to tell you guys about. Uh, and may just show up in my one of my home meal delivery boxes. So those in Charlotte will have to tell you all about it. So um, thank you so much for watching. This is Doctor. The, this has been the Doctor Monique May Show with Doctor Monique May, board certified family physician. And again, I help busy working women save time in the kitchen with my home meal prep tips and home meal delivery service. My easy meal prep tips and home meal delivery service. So be sure to follow me on all social media at D-R-M-O-N-I-Q-U-E-M-A-Y. And I'm also known as a physician in the kitchen, so that's where I'm heading right now. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.